The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Was Moses, your mathematics teacher. Before we begin this lesson, let us first look at the correction of assignment from the previous lesson. Solve the following linear equations. A, y minus 5 is equal to negative 2. y minus 5 is equal to negative 2. A. Now, what do we do? We add 5 on to both sides. y minus 5 plus 5 will reduce this to 0. And we have 2 plus 5, adding 5 on both sides. Now, negative 5 plus 5 gives 0. So, leaving only y on this side to be equal to 7. B. 3a plus 7 is equal to 1. 3a plus 7 is equal to 1. Again, we subtract 7 from both sides. Subtracting 7 from both sides, 3a plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 1 minus 7. And 7 minus 7 reduces these sides to 3a because 7 minus 7 is 0. This is equal to 7, 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Now, dividing both sides by 3, dividing both sides by 3, the 3 reduces these sides to a. And we have the solution of B to be A as A equals 3 goes here, 1, 3 goes into 6, 2. A is equal to negative 2. So, we look at the solution as it has already been explained. Adding 5 to both sides, we have Y equals negative Five, and there was an omission. This one was negative two, but at the end, I was considering it as two because the negative was not very clear. So this is negative, and negative two plus five is three. Negative two plus five is the same as five minus two, which is three. So that is what was supposed to be there. Now, in B, we subtract 7 from both sides. Subtracting 7 from both sides, as we have already explained, you have 3a to be negative 6, and dividing both sides by 3 gives a as a equal 2. Now, similarly, looking at C, we have 3 minus 4m equals negative 5. If we subtract 3, this 3 again on both sides, we are going to have, as you can see display, 3 minus 4m minus 3 equals negative 5 minus 3, which is resulting to negative 4m equals negative 5 minus 3 gives negative 8. And if we divide all through by negative 4, so that we can obtain a solution for m, 
The negative four cancel on this side and it simplifies to two on the other side. As you can see the answer display. M is equal to two. The title of our module for the lesson is Basic Algebra. This module consists of two topics, algebraic expressions and equations. The topic equation is subdivided into the following lessons. One, we have forming simple linear equations. Two, solving linear equations, part one, and three, solving linear equations, part two. Four, forming inequalities with one unknown. And uh, the last lesson under this topic is solving simple linear inequalities. Solving simple linear inequalities. Our lesson proper, which is lesson 44, is titled Solving Simple Linear Equations, Part 2. As a plan for the lesson, we we'll begin with the objectives, prerequisite, problem situation, learning activity, application exercises, and we'll end up with an assignment. As the lesson objectives, it is expected that at the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve simple linear equations with rational terms and coefficients. As a prerequisite, learners can already state and apply the additive and multiplicative inverses of integers. Learners can already solve simple linear equations with integral coefficients. Learners can also already find the LCM of whole numbers. Now, we look at an exercise to test our prerequisite. Solve the following simple linear equation. Solve the following simple linear equation. That is the equation, as you can see, display 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. Again, to solve this type of a simple linear equation, we simply add 5 on both sides. Having added 5 on this side, 2x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 5. Negative 5 plus 5 gives 0. So leaving this side as 2x, or simplifying this to 2x, equal to 3 plus 5 is 8. Now, to obtain x, we now divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2. 2 here cancels 2 into 8, 4. So x is equal to 4. And that is the solution to that first exercise to test our prerequisite. As you can see display, the answer of x is 4. Now, this is our problem situation. Donald wants to find out his father's age. He, told, he is told that his age is equivalent to subtracting two years from half of his father's age. Given that Donald is 14 years old, how can you help him to determine his father's age? Please, this is a problem situation. As we have read through, we just need to identify the problem faced by Donald and in the course of this lesson, we shall come back to provide the solution. We look at the first learning activity. Consider the equation half x plus 4 is equal to 10. A. What is the variable in this equation? B. State the coefficient of this variable. C. 
state the set of numbers to which the above coefficient belong. Okay, we'll look at this exercise step by step. The first thing is to put down the equation that we have on the board. The equation is half x plus 4 is equal to 10. Now, it says what is the variable in this equation? A. The variable in this equation is x. So x is the variable. B. We are asked to state the coefficient of this variable. So any numerical value multiplied to a variable is called the coefficient. Therefore, the coefficient of x is simply half. So half is, or we say that the coefficient of the variable x of variable x is half is a half now the next part c says we should state the set of numbers to which the above coefficient belong now in the set of numbers we know that we have natural numbers integers rational and irrational numbers before real numbers now we have been asked to state the set. Among these sets I have enumerated, we see that the only set of numbers that contain fractions is the set of real of rational numbers. So half is actually an element of the set of rational numbers. So half is an element of the set of rational numbers. Okay. We continue. As you see, the solution display, which has already been explained, you see that this half is a rational number. We look at the second learning activity. Consider the simple linear equation below. And again, we put down the simple linear equation for learning activity two. Learning activity two. The simple linear equation there is two over three x plus half equals seven. A. A says we should multiply each term, no, determine the LCM of two and three. But please, before we determine the LCM of two and three, looking at what, at this equation, the equation that was given, you see that three and two are the denominators of the fraction that occur in, in that equation. So therefore, we are taking the LCM of only the denominators, 2 and 3. And we know from our basic knowledge of arithmetic that LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. The lowest common multiple of 3, 2 and 3. B. Multiply each term by the LCM of 2 and 3 and simplify each term. Now, what are we doing? The instruction in B says we should go back to the original equation and multiply each term by the LCM of 2 and 3, which have been obtained up to be 6. So, multiply each term, we have 6 into 2 over 3x plus 6 into 1 over 2 is equal to 7 or 6 into 7. So you multiply all through every term by the LCM. And the reason is simply that you want the, all the fractions to be reduced so that the equation becomes a simple linear equation with in, 
integral coefficient. Now, 3 goes into 6, 2 times, 3 goes, 2 goes into 6, 3 times, and there is no other fraction. 2 times 2, we have 4x plus 3 times 1, simply 3, giving 6 times 7, which is 42. And here you see that this has become a simple linear equation with integral coefficient. C. Hence, solve the simple linear equation with integral coefficient, which is the result we have obtained in B. C, we are simply asked to solve this. Now, we have 4x plus 3 equals 42. What do we do? We subtract 3 on both sides. So this gives 4x plus 3 minus 3 to be 42 minus 3. Subtracting 3 here, the 3 will, reduce, will be reduced to 0. So we have 4x plus 0, which is just 4x, is equal to 42 minus 3, which is 39. Now, to find x, we simply divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable x. So these four cancels. And since 39 is not a multiple of 4, and there is no number that can go divide 4 and 39, the answer remains a fraction, which is x equal 39 over 4. Good. That is the solution to the second learning activity, as you can see it displayed. So, solving that in equation with in integral coefficient, we have 4x equal 39 and giving us x to be 39 over 4. At the third learning activity, consider the equation below. Third learning activity, consider the equation below. So we look at it again and we solve it step by step. 3 over 5x is equal to 9 over 20. Now, A says we should multiply both sides by 5 over 3. This is 3 over 5. So A says instead of 3 over 5, we should multiply all through by 5 over 3 into 3 over 5x equals 5 over 3 into 9 over 20. That is what the instruction says in A. Now, 5 cancel 5, 3 cancel 3, leaving this side to be 1x, which gives it just x. This is equal to 5 goes into 5, 1 into 24, 3 goes into itself 1 into 9, 3, giving 3 over 4. So, here, that is the solution. But, we are following an activity where B says we should cross multiply both sides by of the original equation and simplify to find x. Okay, A, in finding x, using the idea of or the approach of multiplying both sides by the reciprocal gives x equal 3 over 4. Let us now see what will happen if we do a cross multiplication. Now, we have 3 over 5x equals 9 over 20. Cross multiplication means the denominator here multiplies with the numerator here and the denominator of this other side multiplies with the numerator as the arrows here indicate. So this implies, or this is, if you take 20 times 3, it gives 60x. 5 times 9, it gives 
45. Now, dividing both sides by 60, dividing both sides by 60, we see that 60 cancel. 15 goes into 45 three times, and 15 goes into 60 four times. Again, we have used a different method, and we are having the same value for x, 3 over 4. So, which means that A and B, as we have said, they are giving us the same answers, the same solutions to that same that equation. Now, see, compare the results obtained in A and C above. So, the comparison is simply that the two results are the same, which means the two methods used are two different methods of solving simple linear equations that have that form. As we have already seen on the screen, is just a replay of the solution. And the comparison, as we have said, is that the results obtained are the same. Hence, these are, the, are two different methods of solving simple linear equations with rational coefficients. So that is what we can conclude from that same results. Now, as some of the important concepts we need to take home or to retain for this lesson, from this lesson, are as follows. The first one is, to solve any linear equation with rational terms or coefficients, First, multiply each term by the LCM of the denominator to obtain the form AX plus B equals C, as you can see displayed. Now, the second important concept. Once you have arranged an equation, or once you have arranged it to have the form AX plus B equals C, you use the additive inverse of B to remove B, meaning that if B was positive, like in this case, you subtract B from both sides. Now, after that, finally divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable. In this case, if you have AX equals C minus B, to get, obtain a solution for x, you simply divide both sides by a, which is the coefficient of x, as you see indicated. And here you have x equals c minus b over a. For any linear equation of the form ax over b equals c, when you see you have a linear equation in this form, with rational coefficients or rational terms appearing and it is organized as you see displayed, what you do is you can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the variable, which in this case is a over b, is b over a, the reciprocal of a over b is b over a. So you take it b over a and multiply both sides by that, or you can simply cross multiply and simplify. As you can see displayed. Okay, to consolidate what we have actually learned from this lesson, let us look at the following application exercises. Question one. Solve the following simple linear equations. Question one. The first one is x over 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Now, once we see that a rational term has occurred, which is x over 3, we identify the denominator and get an LCN. So once there is just one denominator, that denominator, once there's only one fraction, that denominator of the fraction automatically becomes the LCN. 
So what we do is we multiply all through by the denominator, which is 3. 3 into x over 3 plus 3 into 4 equal to 3 into 7. 3 simplifies with 3, giving us x here plus 3 times 4 gives 12. This is equal to 3 times 7 gives 21. Now, x plus 12 resulting to 21. If we subtract 12 on both sides, we eliminate 12 here and get a, obtain a solution for x. So x plus 12 minus 12 will be given, will give or will result to 21 minus 12. So simplifying this, you have x plus 0, which is just x is equal to 21 minus 12 is 11. 11. So in the first equation, x is equal to 11. As you can see the solution displayed, we have 21 minus 12. 21 minus 12 is actually 9 and not 11. 21 minus 12 gives 9, not 11, please. So when you're solving, always be very vigilant. B, following the same method that we have learned from the recall, B says 5 over 7 x is equal to 5 over 2. Now, to solve this, we can either cross multiply or we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the variable. So in this case, multiplying both sides by the reciprocal as the case you see displayed, x will be equal to 7 over 2. We look at the problem situation. Donut wants to find at his father's age. He is told that we look back at that question, problem. Donut wants to find at his father's age. He is told that his age is equivalent to subtracting two years from half of his father's age. Now, since his father's age is what Donald wants to find at, we let x be the father's age. Let x be who represents his father's age. Represents the father's age. Now, he is told that, Donald is told, told that his age, his own age, is equivalent to subtracting two years from half of his father's age. Now, to subtract two years from half of his father's age, it means that if his father's age is x, then half of his father's age will be x over two. And subtracting two years again from this, you have minus two. x over two minus two will be equivalent to donor's age. And what is Donald's age? Given that Donald is 14 years old, how can you help him to determine his father's age? Now, if Donald is 14 years old, it means that x over 2 minus 2 will give 14. And in this case, how do we obtain a solution to this? There are two methods. The first one is we can identify the LCM which in this case is just the single denominator, which is 2. So multiply all through by this single denominator, we obtain 2 into x over 2 minus 2 into 2 equals 14 into 2. 2 cancels, giving x minus 2 times 2, 4 equals 28. And now, to find x, we add 4 on both sides to eliminate negative 4 here. 
we add 4 on both sides to obtain x equals 28 plus 4, giving 32. So, obtaining x equals 32, it means that Donald's father's age is 32 years old. Oh, that Donald's father is of age 32 years. The solution, as you have seen, is this plate. And we obtain Donald's father's age to be 32, as already explained. Now, to practice what we have learned from this lesson, you try to solve the following linear equations as an assignment. A, you have it on the, as you see displayed, A, B, and C, each equation there is well written, and you try to provide solutions to that. Now, here are some references for further information on the lesson. So the textbooks that have been displayed, you can consult them for more information. We have come to the end of this lesson. Our next lesson will be on forming inequalities. On a tege minga, matege nyum, on a tege majang, matege ndom, mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen, ngani bana, matege mot, ngani la kiri watege ndong, esa kina bia jinki do, mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen